What's up? I'm Julian. Brianna. Yeah, and this is the worm bin. Only fruits and veggies go in here. No spaghetti. Mm -mm. No nachos. Mm -mm. No sloppy joes. All that lunch stuff. Ugh. Doesn't go in here. Only fruits and vegetables. Look, look at that apple. Look at that apple. See, see, do you see any spaghetti in here? Nope. Welcome, Welcome to the Orca Recycling Lab. Wow. This is where we recycle all our food right. and compost and compost and milk cartons and <laughs> garbage and recycling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sharing table back here, you know. That salad has dressing on it. It needs to go on the Cedar Grove bin. Put, put it in there. There you go. You need any other help? We got worm bin, recycling, cedar grove, garbage. The milk needs to be drained so it can we can recycle the milk cartons. All that good stuff. Oh, we composted 700 pounds in our worm bins this year. Yes, you did. We composted two tons of food to Cedar Grove this year. Yeah. We put it in here and they pick it up every week. <coughs> we got a small dumpster so we can pay for Cedar Grove to come every week. That's almost 5,000 pounds of food that would have gone into garbage. Zoinkers! We also recycle cans and foil. As the head custodian here, Kirk, what do you see uh, the benefits from from composting, what are they? Well, Anthony, um, there's several uh, uh, benefits from compost. I see it one within uh, the garbage to go out daily. Um, it's down to a minimum of one bag. It teaches the kids how to uh, recycle and uh, help the community and the environment. Um, it, it's, 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 it's all around a positive way for the school to save money and put more money into education. Uh, I, I think it's fantastic. I think it should be in all the schools throughout this whole school district and uh, um, the Northwest. Yeah. Do you like cauliflower? I like cauliflower. 